Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Playing Bad Dream Coma. It's a point-and-click adventure. Seems very odd and creepy, and I like that. Also, there's a morality system involved. And Chapter 1 seemed like it could have had a couple different outcomes. I managed to secure the, the good outcome for Chapter 1 based on not killing the birds, as far as I could tell. <coughs> Though it seemed like there were other outcomes. It's possible that punching the birds would have netted me a different item or... Using the, the crowbar on that baby thing um, could have taken me a different path as well. So I suppose let's, uh, let's go to chapter two, which is the hospital. So I will try to think about the things that I'm doing and, and try not to, I guess, kill stuff, animals, people. <laughs> because it's about, again, that morality system. So before I, I take any specific actions, I'll try to... Before I take any specific actions, I'll try to uh, to maybe backtrack and make sure I have no other options. All right, so we're at the hospital. They said they would help us for free. So we've got this plastic bait. Nothing else seems to be interactable out here. I have no idea what plastic bait could be used for. We have a tiny little spotlight around our cursor. I wonder if you, like, mouse over it and, and then suddenly you could see, like... A creepy face or something. All right. Oh, oh my God, a new person in one piece. That's impressive. You seem lost. Let me explain you to you the situation. Eh, uh, we're trapped in this dream. For some reason, we can't wake up, and nobody knows why. Everything here is an illusion. The monsters' blood wounds are not real. The only real things are pain <coughs> and fear. People are frightened with the vision of endless suffering and disability. Their terrified minds are continually creating new beasts. We have to find a way to wake up as soon as possible. Afterwards, it may be too late. It'd be best. Tepid pause, shaking, earthquake. Damn. I gotta go. See you later. Uh, okay, goodbye, random person. So can we leave? If we wanted to leave? Did I break the... Yeah, so I could I could just leave. Well, not really. I mean, the, I, can't, I can't backtrack out of here, but something might appear on the outskirts of the, out, of, of the hospital later. Ugh. <laughs> okay, the bird is holding a, a, an ear, but I can't interact with it. I can't use the bait. The two button is missing. The three button is backwards. Seven is upside down. So there's a code here we're going to need to figure out <clears throat> eventually. There's a long wire here. See these little symbols here? Those have to mean something, right? Because they're like here on the different symbols. And I've got this good heart, whatever that means. All right, goodbye. Fly. There's so many things that seem interactable. All right, so the 8 and the 12 are missing. So I wonder if we'll find the buttons at some point. Can I use the lure maybe on the on the creep that pops out of here? All right, it doesn't seem like I can do anything here just yet besides leave. There's got to be something with this too. All right, so let's back up. Locked. Room 15. Oh, and then, like, bugs come out. I wonder if, like, you turn the lights off and you have to wait for a long period of time. Turn, And then they skitter away. So 15's open, 16's locked. Water closet's locked. Oh, hello. Should I leave the light on or off? Okay, I can't backtrack down here, so I can go... 
I can go two ways here. I got some scissors. Tack. Can't do anything with this. Plug the computer in. Locked 1996, May 1996. Fish. You'd think the plastic bait would work on the fish. Not sure what this is for at this point. It's got to be something coming up here. What did I get here? Matches. Okay. So we have scissors, matches, and a, and plastic bait. I need help here. Let's check the computer. This computer is infected. This computer is infected. Let's check the trash. Nothing. So the only thing we can do here is play Coma, which we're currently in. This does nothing. What's this going to do? Oh, I get it. <laughs> because it's like, ah, you're, you're in the game, breaking the fourth wall, so in order to play the game, it takes you back to the game. I get it. All right, so it doesn't seem like there's anything else we can do here. So the fish requires an item. I do like how it tells you when there's something that requires an item. Can we burn the trash? It's eerie how sometimes that stuff... I can unplug the computer can move the mouse. The only way to exit the computer, as far as I can tell. There we go. All right. So we didn't go into either of these rooms yet, right? So let me just, uh, okay, so this is where we go there. If we go to the right, that's the elevator. If we go to the left, this is the fish and the computer. Hello? Spiders hatched in my kitchen. Can you deal with them? I hate spiders. It sounded like she gave me something. Please, help me get rid of these spiders. No, no, no. I want to... Can I read these? Pills! Eat me! That's locked. <coughs> Matches. Looks like I can't go anywhere else. So, because I had the HUD disabled. So she gave me the kitchen key. He, she, I don't know. <coughs> so I have to find the kitchen. The waiting room. Oh, hello. None of these people are going to be upset that I'm breaking all their windows, I guess? Can we burn down their buildings? Can we burn anything down? So again, we've got... I guess the, the thing now is we want to find the kitchen. We've got the water closet. And I haven't even checked in these two rooms. All right, let's... let's... So here's the lunch room. Okay, I've learned my lesson. We don't want to punch the spiders if we can help it. We have a plug here. Empty jar. All right, nothing there. Salt and pepper shakers. Again, I'm trying not to kill these things if I can help it. I've learned from the first mission. We also gotta check if any of this is interactable. We have a locked door. 
Magnifying glass, maybe? So there has to be another way to proceed. I can't interact with this. Let's check the other rooms, or like, what? Is there any point to turning the lights off? I still can't interact with this thing. Well, I mean, I could attack it with the scissors, which I'm not going to do. So... Hmm. Can I, like, use the scissors to cut this thing down? No. Let, let's go see if this lady will say anything to us now that we got the jar. Please help me get rid of the spiders. Okay, let's check the other rooms. Hello, sir. Uh, please don't throw stuff at me. I don't do that. Hmm. Name Teddy Bear. ID 49. Missing head? Well, yeah, I guess it is. What do I do with this plastic bait? It's driving me nuts. Huh. So I could do something with this guy. Urgently requires eyes, ears, and a hair transplant. Stable condition found a few days ago near the cemetery. Hang on, my dog is distracting me. Okay, sorry. My dog was licking constantly, like, right behind me. It was driving me nuts. Okay, so we could do something with this man. And we have to figure out, again, he needs, like, transplants of some sort. Nothing that I have seems like it would make sense to interact with him. I can't, like, cut the life support, which, again, is not something I would want to do for, like, the morality system. Can I, like... Is there something inside the bear that I could, like, open it up? I tried a lot of these things. None of these seem to work. This is more expansive than the bridge. There's a bunch of different ways to go. I guess let's check in here. Hello, sir. Ooh. We, so we can't see his name. Several fatal wounds, paralyzed, traumatized, impossible to cure and rehabilitate. Only solution, find a way to wake up. Strange earthquakes, what, ca what causes them? This life is fake. Yes, we're aware of that. Alright, nobody there. Nobody here. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Mm. Mm. The only thing that I could think to do is mm. kill those spiders, which, again, mm. doesn't seem that smart to smart thing to do considering the morality system. So let's check everything before we do that. The other thing I could try is turning the lights off and seeing if that changes anything in these rooms. See, because, like, now there are bugs. The only, I mean, turning the lights off might change something with the spiders, maybe? No... That maybe, the, I mean, there's got to be an alternate way besides the punch. <laughs> From what I can tell, the punch... Oh, hello! Spider in a jar. There we go. Spiders in the jar. So we got rid of them. I didn't need to turn the lights off for that. But we've learned, importantly that turning the lights off does affect things uh, all the other rooms. So let's let's do this. So now I have spiders in a jar. Like 
I keep checking this computer like there's gonna be something in it. This computer is infected. Can we use the the spiders? <laughs> what do I do with this? So, the other thing too is I want to talk to that lady. What's that? You've caught the spiders in the jar? Well, they're pretty cute. Can I get them? I've always wanted a pet. Thank you for your help. Now I can go back to work. All right. I broke all these windows. Let me check my status. Okay, I still don't have anything else. Oh, the moon. I just realized I can click on the moon. <laughs> what is happening here? Is that an e Do you think that's an Easter egg? Nothing is interactable. Wait, wait, is the moon only interactable because I turned the lights off, do you think? Yeah. So I guess let's leave the lights off for now. So, cafeteria worker said they'll get back to work. So I should probably go speak to them. What the heck is with this? As far as I can tell, again, there's nothing interact- like, it, when you mouse over it, you don't get the little question mark, so it's not like there's something... I'm thinking this maybe just an easter egg, and it's also it makes it clear that things will change based on if the lights are on or off. Key? Do you need something? No. Key. Not that one. What was locked? The water closet was locked, right? Make a quick run through. Oh, look at that. SOS. Yeah, color me shocked. Do you want to get out of there considering... You're stuck in there. Every action has a reaction. Our minds are capable of creating monsters. We can't leave this dream, so we don't want it to become a nightmare. Don't do anything bad or stupid for the sake of all of us. All right, we're doing our best. We're doing our best here. Key? Uh, key? And we've got these matches and we've got these scissors. Okay, key is for the water closet. We also have to come back here with the lights on. Magnifying glass? Ah, hair! Got it. So we can give that guy his hair. What is up with this plastic bait? No. Well, that doesn't seem wise. It's flush. Key. Again, we've got the scissors for the eye, but it's the same, like, there seems like multiple ways to solve these things, and a lot of it is just, like, don't... Don't use your first instinct. If you don't have to, always backtrack a little bit. So the eye came out when the water was turned on, right? Let's turn the light on and go back. Looks the same. Shiny bottle cap. Where could that be used? <coughs> Is this the key? No. This key must be the office. One of these offices. There we go. Enter doctor's office. What is the bottle cap for? And again, I've got the hair for that guy. So hang on, let me back up. He's in 15. Put the hair on him. So we need eyes and ears. Well, the, the, the crow has ears. 
has an ear, right? So we need to figure out how to get this from the crow without cutting it with the scissors. Shiny bottle cap works on it. I wish I could save because I don't know what this is going to do. So we just give him... Okay. Again, it's mostly just sort of experimenting. Like, that didn't seem like it would be morally incorrect to give the bird that. So, what is this? Birds like you. Well, that's nice. Okay, so let's give this guy his ear. Alright. So... Oh, the doctor's office. That was this way. So we can go in here now. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen the nurse for the past few days. I hope she'll come back soon. There's little I can do on my own. Well, yeah, because you're just ahead. Call me, 555-279. There's a, there is a phone. Well, I've had the scissors selected and haven't been able to do anything. Five 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 two seven nine. Last thing, I guess, we want to check. Got to check everything with the lights on and off, both. So he's asleep now. What difference does that make? You can probably hear me. I'm just clicking randomly on stuff. What is this artificial plastic bait for? It's driving me nuts. SOS, right? Um... 555-279. Five, 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 it's missing a number, which probably just means it either ends with a zero or I'm missing the number and we've got to figure it out. I need the two. Can I use the scissors to push it? So I need a button for the two. Hmm. Can I take the two off of the... Yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, perfect. So I'm leaning towards thinking that we don't need the vending machine for anything. So let's look here. We put the two here, and then we go... Oh god, what was the number? <laughs> It'd only take me a second to go and look. 555-279. Five, 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 and then I'll try zero. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to do something else. 555-279. Five, 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 oh, okay. There was no last number. Whoop. How did I get here? Well, we now have eyes. Obviously, I'll answer the phone, but I want to click around first. Hmm. How did I... Like, wh why am I here now? I'm still so confused about what this lure was for. The only thing interactable appears to be the phone. And we've got 552 showing up here. That takes me back. But we got the eyes. That's the most important thing. So clicking on this now transitions me back. Okay. Um, 
I can't exit if I wanted to now. You can only exit when the lights are on. I guess let's give this guy his eyes. Let me help you. Oh, he like straightened him up. I see. Thank you for help. So, tell me. What exactly happened at the graveyard? Have you found any clues? I... I was attacked a few steps from the gate. I haven't found anything useful. I didn't get the chance to look around. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's fine. I appreciate that you at least tried. Few people here have the courage to do that. So I assume we're going to the cemetery next. It seems that some tips regarding our immortality are at the graveyard. Can you check it out for me? I have to look for the nurse. We're not looking for anything concrete. Just look around for some information. The fastest way to get there to the graveyard is by bus. The bus stop is right next to the hospital. Good luck. Go to the graveyard by bus. So we know how to exit the hospital. The question is... Is there anything else we need to do here? Because I still have scissors, and I still have matches, and I still have plastic bait. It seems like this all carries over. In some fashion. Again, I thought the bait would be used on the fish, but I guess not. I was never able to get into that room. This is why I'm starting to think that there's like a plethora of different ways to go through these missions based on like the morality system. And I've just reached the end of this path, but I'm, I'm hesitant because keep in mind in the first chapter, had I not backtracked enough times? Be careful. Had I not backtracked enough times, then I wouldn't have gotten the artificial lure, but I didn't need it for anything. Just one mistake and you'll end up like me. Wait, does he have something else to say? Oh, the nurse. Okay, so, um... Let's go check on this person. Did you need something? No. I was never able to get into this room either. Again, matches and scissors. We got the matches from here. They were in like this drawer, weren't they? I guess I'll just, I'll collect as many items as possible, but see, we were never able to help this person either. Maybe we're supposed, maybe we'll be coming back here at some point. I'm not sure. Because I imagine if I just left now, the chapter would end. Well, I guess let's do it. Okay, now we're at the park. Go to ruins. Go to bus stop. Go back to entrance. Well, you know your boys gotta check this out. Matches? Burn down the vines? What's this right here? Okay, we have a balloon. I'm hesitant to pop it. I can't pop it if I wanted to. Living dead soon. I think there's just nothing we can do here. So we're at the bus stop now. What did I just get? A fish bone. Okay, so it's not over. We have stuff to still do. Can I check the bus schedule? I need to I need to find a way for the bus to arrive. It doesn't seem like there's really anything else for me to do here. Magnifier. Okay, so I found a bus ticket. But only part of one. It's, I mean, it's listed as a bus ticket, so I imagine it'll, you know, work. Light the trash on fire. Why is that always my go-to thing? Hmm. Just sort of curious. We go back to the hospital. We go to the fish. The fish is not selectable. What the heck would I use a fish bone for?
this computer is infected. Back to coma. So we got a fish bone and a bus ticket, right? So I guess we want to go to the ruins first. What is a fish? What would we use a fish bone for? Be careful. Graveyard is not a safe place. No shit. <laughs> this is not interactable in any way. It looks like you'd be able to cut it open and get something inside of it, but I guess not. There's really nothing in here besides this guy who won't say anything, and it looks like nothing is usable on him. Again, I'm hesitant to try to move forward too quickly because you might be missing stuff. Let's, um... Nothing there. All right, let's go back out and go to the ruins. Go to ruins, back to the entrance. So I'm assuming maybe we can open up the sewer in some way. And then we can... Oh, here we go. We could pop the balloon. Again, I think I'm inclined to never do the first thing that comes to mind. Let's go to the ruins first. Do not cross. We have an apple core. Oh, I picked up a second piece of a bus ticket. I don't know where I got that, but I picked it up somewhere. What the heck do I use an apple core for? Obviously, I need to complete the bus ticket, and that's what allows me to leave. Magnifier. No, none of that. I think the only thing I got here was... Hmm. Apple core in the trash? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess the only thing I could think to do is popping a balloon, and I have no idea why that would anger anybody. I could... Uh, what else would an apple core be used for in this case? Let's pop the balloon. Which is drop that dropped a part of the bus ticket. So I'm still missing part of the bus ticket. Alright. So it's figuring out what we do with an apple core and matches. We can go back in the hospital. We've got the ruins. Can I cut the do not cross sign? No. There's a lot of stuff here, so it's kind of hard to tell what I might be missing. Never found a use for the matches. We've already used the scissors. We have artificial lure, which I thought maybe we throw down the sewer? There's virtually nothing else here. Hmm. Can we just burn the whole place down? <laughs> no. There's nothing listed as interactable here besides what we already picked up. Birds love me. Birds. <laughs> Can I send them out on, like, a 12-hour mission and come back with part of the bus ticket? Hmm. So it's it's got to be back in the hospital. I think I've... I mean, from what I can tell, I found pretty much everything possible in these particular areas. But I need... I mean, this bus ticket should be enough. Let's be honest. Oh, that, that was a dead fish skeleton. That's why. So we use the wishbone... I don't know why I couldn't just use the scissors to pop the balloon, but whatever. It doesn't appear like there's anything else in the bus station, in the ruins. What did I get here that helped in any way? Was there wasn't there something on the ground? Did I get part of the bus ticket? No, I got part of the bus ticket over here. I got the apple core here. I just heard a honk. 
All I can think to do here now is go back in the hospital. Okay. I can use the apple core in the trash. Uh... Oh, okay. All right. Hello. Bus ticket. Let's go. We have a full bus ticket. Take me to the bus stop. Thank you. Hello. Hello, bus. Take me to the cemetery. Never use the matches. I unlock bird love. Birds like you. It's hard to go through this and not feel like I'm missing stuff and leaving stuff behind, you know? Like, what, what did I... What could I have missed? Like, but well, we didn't use the artificial bait... We didn't use the matches. So there was clearly other alternative paths, or maybe we need those things for future chapters. We got the artificial bait back in chapter one. Some stuff might just be red herring straight up. All right, so we're going to head into the graveyard next time. And I guess I'll, I'll split the chapters out. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.